Okay, let's look at one more example on process analysis. ICU is a competitor to the National Cranberry Cooperative. At ICU, barrels of cranberries arrive on trucks at a rate of 150 barrels per hour and are processed continuously at a rate of 100 barrels per hour. Trucks arrive at a uniform rate over 8 hours from 6 a.m. until 2 p.m. Assume the trucks are sufficiently small so that the delivery of cranberries can be treated as a continuous inflow. The first the truck arrives at 6 a.m. and unloads immediately, so processing begins at 6 a.m. The beans at ICU can hold up to 200 barrels of cranberries before overflowing. If a truck arrives and the beans are full, the truck must wait until there's room in the bins. There are four questions associated with this problem. A. What is the maximum number of barrels of cranberries that are waiting on the trucks at any given time? B. At what time do the trucks stop waiting? And C. At what time do the bins become empty? And D. ICU is considering using seasonal workers in addition to their regular workforce to help with the processing of cranberries. With the seasonal workers are working, the processing rate increases to 125 barrels per hour. Seasonal workers will start working at 10 a.m. and finish working when the trucks stop waiting. At what time would ICU finish processing the cranberries using these seasonal workers. Once again, I'm going to turn to my Excel spreadsheet to answer these questions. First of all, let's look at what information we already have. Cranberry arrival rate is 150 barrels per hour. The typical processing rate is 100 barrels per hour and beans can hold up to 200 barrels. First, the truck arrives at 6 a.m. and the delivery of cranberries stops at 2 p.m. Question A, what is the maximum number of barrels of cranberries waiting on the truck at any given time? To answer question A, the most important thing is to understand what is happening to the process. First, note that the cranberry arrival rate is greater than the processing rate. That is to say, as long as trucks are coming, we are going to have more and more cranberries in our system. As a result, the number of barrels of cranberries waiting reaches maximum at 2 p.m when the trucks stop coming. Once we understand that, let's take a look at the accumulation rate. It's nothing but arrival rate minus process rate. Every hour we're going to receive 150 barrels, but every hour we're going to be able to process 100. So for every hour we will be having 50 barrels waiting to be processed. The truck will start coming at 6 a.m. and it will stop coming at 2 p.m. That is 8 hours in total. Over a span of 8 hours, we will be able to accumulate 50 barrels per hour. That will be 8 times 50, 400 barrels. But don't forget, some of those cranberries can be stored in the beans, which can hold up to 200 barrels. And this is our final answer. At 2 p.m. there will be 400 barrels waiting to be processed. Out of those 400 barrels, 200 of them will be in the bins. The remaining 200 of them will be on the trucks. Next, question B. At what time do the trucks stop waiting? Once we know answer to question A, 
this becomes easier. At 2 p.m., we have 200 barrels of cranberry waiting on the trucks, and the processing capacity is 100 barrels per hour. So it takes two additional hours to process the cranberries waiting on the truck. And if you want to be more accurate, that is what? Uh, 2 p.m. plus two additional hours. At 4 p.m., the trucks will stop waiting. Question C, at what time do the bins become empty? To answer this question, let's take another look at question B. By 4 p.m., all the trucks are free to go, but there are still another 200 barrels left in the bins. So at what time do the bins become empty? It takes additional 200 divided by 102 hours. And to know at what time do the beans become empty, it is 4 plus 2 6 p.m. By 6 p.m., all the cranberries are processed and beans become empty. Let me hide question A, B, and C so that we can see question D. Question D is the trickiest one of all. There's uh, some additional information. Uh, first, the seasonal workers start at 10 a.m. With the help of uh, seasonal workers, the processing rate increases to 125 barrels per hour. And the question D is, at what time would ICU finish processing the cranberries using seasonal workers? To answer this question, we are going to take five steps. In step one, let's compute the inventory at 10 a.m. Recall that seasonal workers arrive at 10, so before 10 a.m., the accumulation rate remains the same, 150 barrels minus 100, that is 50 barrels per hour, but the whole process starts at 6 a.m. So it is four hours before seasonal workers come and help us. That is, by 10 a.m., we will have 200 barrels of cranberry waiting, and they are going to be in the bins. Starting from 10 a.m., the new processing rate will be 125, so the new accumulation rate will be 150 minus 125, that is 25 barrels per hour. In step C, what would be the maximum number of barrels waiting on the trucks? Even though the processing rate is different right now, the number of barrels waiting reaches the peak at 2 p.m. as well. So what do we get? We call that the first 200 barrels will be in the bins. For anything in addition, they will be on the trucks. And we know the accumulation rate is 25 barrels per hour. And from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., that is another four hours times four, the maximum number of barrels waiting on the truck, which happens at 2 p.m., will be 100 barrels. In step four, we are going to find out about the time at which seasonal workers leave. And we call that they can leave when trucks stop waiting. And when do trucks stop waiting? Okay, we know that uh, by 2 p.m., there will be 100 barrels of cranberry waiting on the truck and the new processing rate will be 125 barrels. So it takes additional 0.8 hours 
to empty all the trucks. Point eight hours is same as 48 minutes. That is to say, 48 minutes after 2 p.m., all the trucks stop waiting. That is also to say, at 2.48 p.m., all the seasonal workers are free to go as well. Okay, after seasonal workers leave, we still have 200 barrels of cranberry left in the beans. But this time around, seasonal workers have left. The processing rate goes back to 100 barrels per hour. How much longer does it take to finish the remaining cranberries? It's going to be equal to 200 barrels divided by the old processing rate of 100. So it takes another two hours. Well, are we going to finish the whole thing? It's going to be 4.48 p.m. By that time, we have processed all the cranberries.